So AirPlay came out with iOS 4, 4.3 to be exact, and how it works isn't simple, but what it does is it allows you to stream or cast media from your AirPlay enabled device to an AirPlay enabled receiver, which was at the time uh, mainly just your Apple TV. With iOS 5, Apple demonstrated the iPad being able to screencast or screen mirror uh, the device to an Apple TV. And since then, it's really been a media sending device, whether it be video or a screen or audio or photos to your Apple TV, as well as audio to an Airport Express or any other third-party enabled AirPlay device. But in 2017, last year, Apple announced AirPlay 2, which was gonna be going alongside the new HomePod, which is in itself an AirPlay device. And with iOS 11.4, it looks like we finally have AirPlay 2 here to stay, fingers crossed. So in this video, we're gonna check out everything that AirPlay 2 is, isn't, and how it works. Hey everybody, I am Harris here with iDownload Blog. Let's go ahead and check out AirPlay 2. How it works. You need mutually capable devices to have it work to take advantage of AirPlay 2. So currently the HomePod does not work with it because the HomePod lacks a required software update, but the Apple TV 4th generation and 4K models did get the update, so they are capable of working with it. What it is. For music purposes, it is basically an extension of Apple's remote app, or the iTunes desktop app that you use on your computer. These applications allow you to control media levels and playback of multiple sources from the same hub. On the remote app, which is extremely outdated, you can control music on your network to any AirPlay supported device, but you need to turn on home sharing in an iTunes library to be able to do this. AirPlay 2 basically just brings these controls into Control Center for an easier, cleaner access and allows anyone at home to control the media. Not a huge change, but basically bringing pre-existing technology from the remote app into Control Center. Smaller changes include improved buffering and latency for more responsive playback, which I have noticed from my limited time using this new update. What it does not. As of right now, it is not working with the Airport Express receivers, but in the home app, the ability to see the airports hints that AirPlay 2 support may be coming for them in the future, you just can't successfully add them yet. Also, HomePod support, as I noted, is not officially available and supported because the HomePod is still waiting for its update. That time is taking a while. But there are a variety of iPhones, iPads, and iPods, as well as the Apple TV that already support it and are able to use it. So in general, this is an improvement of reliability and connection for AirPlay, but for the most part, it is just integrating the pre-existing remote app into Control Center so you can have greater control over multi-room audio from your iOS or macOS or tvOS devices. Nothing too radical, but definitely a better integration and use of AirPlay. If you found this video useful at all, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out iDownloadBlog.com. You can follow me on social media, and I'll see you guys in the next video.